Hey, Dr. Sean here. I want to talk to you about an important subject, spider veins. Chances are you have it and a good chance you may not be aware of it. So you need to be aware of it because it's a sign of cardiovascular disease. Your arteries and your veins and your capillaries are not working as well. Blood is backing up and is causing this venous stasis. It's not only unattractive, it's also dangerous. You don't want it because it's impairing your health. You want blood flow, blood flow, blood flow. In this, re this video, I want to teach you what it is and the things you can do to stop it, how to correct it, and some good practical advice. So stay with me throughout this whole video so you have the benefit of doing that and my strategies to help you reverse spider veins. Okay, so the medical term for them are telinjectasias. This is what they look like. They're unattractive, but they're also dangerous. So let's take a look at um, another image of this. So these, th this is another image on the legs, and you can see this dark coloration here. If this person had better blood flow, they wouldn't have to do this red fingernail polish because they'd have nice pink fingernails naturally uh, colored instead of having to use the fake stuff. All right, so let's take another look at my own spider veins and how they change over a period of time. And this is what I do, okay? I check a good site for them are the inside aspect of your ankles, okay? So the inside aspect of your ankles like that. <laughs> so you can, you can photograph these things and track them over a period of time. Instead of tracking your cholesterol, track your cardiovascular system, what's going on in your body, okay? So um, I put the data, I write the data on, I use an ink, ink pen. You don't have to do that. You can just put it in there, but it's, it's super easy. I put it on there and then I wipe it off. Okay. I'm not going to bed with stuff on. And it, and the, here it is recently. So back in 2016 and then 2020, yeah, seven years I'm tracking this stuff. Cause you know, I am really into tracking biometrics. Okay. So I've circled this one little vessel here. You see that purple vein? Look at it. It's now turned pink. You can barely see it because over a period of time, that just my blood flow has improved considerably over that. So that is the change over just normal kind of conditions. But do you know, uh, you could have a purple lesion like this and in minutes have it look like that. Yeah, you can improve your blood flow considerably. And that's what I wanna get into, tell you how you can start improving your blood flow right away. The system doesn't want you to know about it. They didn't teach me this in medical school. I had to figure this out by hitting um, PubMed and getting into studies and taking a look at this, all right? So the first take-home lesson is photograph your spider veins, track them over a period of time. Besides being on your ankles, they can be on your legs and your knees and on your chest, your thorax, a number of different areas, and in your eyelids, okay? Upper eyelids, a re real easy thin. Thin skin is where you can see it. And guys, you can get that on the skin of your penis, okay? so. You can track that and it gets uh, real, it correlates to erectile dysfunction. The more of that you have, the more erectile dysfunction, more likely it is you're going to have erectile dysfunction and certainly unattractive, completely reversible if you start living properly. All right. So I'm not going to show you any pictures of, of uh, foreskins, but um, let's get into things that you can do um, to get rid of. Uh, of your spider veins. Okay. So things right away. Okay. Now we're not talking like months or weeks, but you do these things, go out in the sunshine, take photographs before you go in the sun, take, sh and then photographs after you're out in the sunshine and sprinting and using a sauna and fasting, all of those right away, improve it. So you don't have to wait weeks and months or years for improvement. It will happen immediately. So what's the take on point on that? What they don't want you to know is it works. Yes, it works. Do these four things and it immediately improves your blood flow. No drugs. Okay. You want your blood flow improving right away. Now <clears throat> check out this watch for feedback. Why am I saying that? Cause guess what dudes do and women and guys, uh, girls too. And they they go in and they start flexing in front of the mirror. Okay. That's an awesome thing. You know why? because it gives them feedback. I just worked out, I just got a pump, and now you know my muscles are getting bigger. That's the kind of feedback they get and they need to continue to lift those weights, it's hard. You need that feedback to do these things. So those spider veins go away. Nobody's tracking these things. But 
I'm talking about because I want to educate you how to optimize yourself, okay? So go out in sunshine, do sprinting, do sauna and fasting, and watch how the dramatically that starts improving. Now, it may not prove as much right away, but as you become more healthy, like getting rid of visceral fat, cutting out processed foods, get rid of that visceral fat, these things become even more dramatic. And at the same time you're looking at that, you can look at your skin turgor. Your skin turgor, bringing your skin turgor, I've talked about this before, how fast it snaps back, it'll be slower, and before you go out in the sunshine, before you do sprinting, before you do a sauna, before you fasting. But after you do those things, you know, each one, you'll see a dramatic improvement in your skin turgor as well. So declare war on visceral fat, declare war on your spider veins. It's nothing more than cardiovascular disease. Here are my strategies. Take a screenshot of that so you have it, so you know what to do to get rid of your visceral fat and also to optimize your health. All right, well. As usual, I welcome comments. Love to get comments and questions, observations, share it. Um, I've got a great set of followers. I'd like more. So if you're watching this for the first time, push, smash on that subscribe button so you start subscribing me. Hit that alert button so when I produce content, you get it and you jump on there. And then uh, share this with other people. If you know somebody who's got spider veins and <laughs> chances are anybody you know is going to have them, they just don't know about it and how, how important it is to get rid of it. Um, and the strategy is how to get rid of it. Share this content with them. And uh, as always, if you're a motivated person, you got spider veins and you want to get rid of them. Yeah, these strategies are going to work. They're going to do it. But if you're really motivated and you really want to get rid of them faster and you really want to optimize yourself and you really want to get rid of your visceral fat faster and better, the very best way to do it is consider working with me. And I'll consider working with you because I can't work with everybody. But if there's a win-win, like I want to work with you and you want to work with me, let's do awesome things together like make you awesome. All right, so you go to my website, continue following me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, and I'll be glad to share more optimizing and awesome content coming up. This is Dr. Sean out. And we will see you next time.